It's a smelly problem. Unplugged in a Glen Pool neighborhood. Take a look at that. That is sewage that is just bubbling up onto people's lawns. And worse, the toilets don't work. With few answers, neighbors turn to the two news problem solvers and Jamil Donna. Tonight, she's seeking solutions and getting results. John Swank has been without a working toilet on and off for two weeks. The last couple of days of February, We've only had this. We've only had actual real flushing a handful of times. His family is one of several Glenpool neighbors dealing with the stink of a clogged sewage pipe. We've been making a lot of runs to quick trip up the up the road there, and they, they know who we are when we come in. Sewage is seeping into people's lawns, behind homes, and smelling up the entire block. Yeah, I figured this would at least get a reaction, but it didn't get a response till I called it in again this morning. Just a few hundred feet away from the houses is this lift station, which is what neighbors say city officials are telling them is where this stink all started. Neighbors say they've seen people out here working on the lift station, but their sewer systems still aren't up and running. They've uh, taken pieces of cement out of there, PVC pipe, rags, anything you can think of. The city says it has spent around $25,000 and at least 200 overtime man hours to repair the lift station. I understand these people's problems and stuff, you know, but we are doing everything we can. So why is there still a problem? The city says they are waiting on parts. Those parts have to be custom made for those pumps. I hope they get here fast. Those parts are now on order and should be here in the next day or two. Clearing the air of a smelly situation. Jamil Donath, 2 News works for you. Jamil, thanks. And as Big Al points out, be glad it's not smell of vision. Well, tonight we are taking this story one step further and getting results. Listen to our problem solver ask a simple question. I think that would be inappropriate to do. At least get porta potties out there or something for them. Uh, we could. I guess we could. That's something we could check into if they. Um... And moments later, city leaders put a plan into action, ordering those porta potties for a quick arrival until this problem is permanently fixed. And our